Chase Five. <laughs> All right, what's up guys? It's CIA Chris here. And today's video consists of my major five bracket prediction. This is the last major of the 2021 CDL season and the last event before champs. This will also be the first event with spectators in attendance since COVID. All right, but as always, I hope you guys enjoy. And for the first matchup here, we have the Seattle Surge versus the Paris Legion. This matchup I'll be calling 3-0 in favor of the Seattle Surge. Last time these teams matched up on land, Surge won 3-0. Surge will also be coming into this matchup after most recently securing a W, while the Legion will be coming in after most recently facing a loss. I honestly think Surge will prevail as they have the more talented team when it comes to a land setting. And for the next matchup here, we have the New York Subliners versus the Los Angeles Gorillas. This matchup I'll be calling 3-0 in favor of NYSL. Neither of these teams have performed that well this stage. The Gorillas have won 0 matches, while NYSL NYSL only has won one. LG also lost to Surge most recently, who is one of the lowest ranked teams in the league. I think NYSL will come out strong this major, as they had a very poor stage. With the return of Clayster, I expect this team to look solid and think they should be easily able to secure this series. And for the next matchup here, we have Atlanta FaZe versus the Minnesota Rocker. This matchup I'll be calling 3-0 in favor of Atlanta FaZe. FaZe is the best team in the game. They have won the last two majors in a row and are currently first in the standings. FaZe has also already faced a loss this stage to Optic. Because of this, I expect them to be and remain in top shape their remainder of the stage for sure. They want to remain the best team in the game and want to continue to prove to everyone that they still are. Minnesota had a good stage, but I do not expect the series to be that close, to be honest. I think when it comes to land, FaZe has the more talented team and they will secure the series no problem. And for the next matchup here, we have the Toronto Ultra versus the Los Angeles Thieves. This matchup I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of the Los Angeles Thieves. Both of these teams have looked rather solid recently. The Ultra, though, have been a consistent threat all season long. Because of this, overall, I feel that Thieves' potential is a bit higher right now. Both of these teams have looked phenomenal have been playing good, but I feel that teams may have caught up to or figured out Toronto now. Because of this, I expect a close series to go down, but for the Thieves to barely be able to edge it out. I also think this Thieves team will perform really well on land. And for the next matchup here, we have the Seattle Surge versus the London Royal Ravens. This matchup I'll be calling 3-1 in favor of the Seattle Surge. I believe Surge's roster is more cracked than the Royal Ravens. Octane is one of the best players in the league, so I expect him to go nuts on land. I expect him to go berserk all event, ignite a fire in his team, and for them to come secure the win here. I feel that Octane is going to be in the last dance mode all major long and will propel his team to victory with this mindset. And for the next matchup here, we have the Florida Mutineers versus the New York Subliners. This matchup I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of the New York Subliners. Florida has been struggling a bit recently. They lost both of their matches last week and only took one map total. As explained before, I think NYSL with Clays here during this major will look much better than they have overall recently. I also think that NYSL has a lot of talent for LAN. I do think Florida is also a rather good team though in terms of LAN experience, which is why I'll be calling it a map 5. And for the next matchup here, we have Dallas Empire versus versus Atlanta FaZe. This matchup I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of Atlanta FaZe. As explained before, FaZe is the top team in the game. They've been a constant threat to everyone this season. Dallas recently has been playing really well. They beat Toronto last week 3-1, who was a team that has won a major this season. The Empire also took second at the last major and have only lost once all of this stage thus far. I expect Dallas to give FaZe a run for their money, but for them to still edge it out. Both of these rosters are very talented, I just feel the FaZe roster may barely prevail. I expect this series to be extremely close, a nail-biter and down to the wire for sure. The maps may be tight, however, meaning narrow margins of victory for each one may occur. And for the next matchup here, we have Optic Chicago versus the Los Angeles Thieves. This matchup I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of Optic Chicago. When these two teams matched up last week, LAT won 3-2. This happened in a reverse sweep fashion and occurred after Optic looked very dominant in the first two maps. Other than facing that loss to Thieves, Optic has been playing lights out recently. They beat FaZe this stage and have been looking very scary. I expect Optic to be very hungry for revenge here as the Thieves ended their perfect run this stage they had going thus far. And with as good as they've been playing recently, I expect the revenge tour after efforts to be successful. I do expect it to go map 5 though, as the Thieves have a very talented roster that I think will definitely give Optic a run for their money. And for the next matchup here, we have the Toronto Ultra versus the New York Subliners. This matchup I'll be calling 3-1 to in favor of the Toronto Ultra. Both of these teams have performed well this season. And why I saw this stage, however, has struggled much more than Toronto. The Subliners have only won one series, while the Ultra have only dropped one. The team Toronto lost to also happens to be Dallas, who is currently second in the standings. I think Toronto should have no problem winning this series. The maps may be tight, but I think the Ultra will prevail here for sure. And for the next matchup here, we have the Minnesota Rocker versus the Seattle Surge. This matchup I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of the Minnesota Rocker. Minnesota has had a rather decent stage. They began this major in winners while Surge did not. Surge, however, I expect to perform really well on land, better than they have been online for sure. Octane on land is an animal, and they performed uncharacteristically well during Major 4, which was also on land. Because of this, I expect Surge to give Rocker a real run for their money. I do not expect them to come out on top, though, as I think the Minnesota lineup is just too solid for them to take on. And for the 
next matchup here, we have the Dallas Empire versus the Toronto Ultra. This matchup, I'll be calling 3-1 to one in favor of the Dallas Empire. Dallas has been performing really well this stage. They finished first in Group B and have already beat the Ultra during it 3-1. to one. The Empire also went to the finals of the last major, which just like this one was also hosted on land. I honestly expect Dallas to come out hot this major. I think they are very motivated right now as they did not win the last major and definitely have what it takes or they need in them in order to take. I think they are very motivated right now as they did not win the last major and definitely have what it takes or they need in them in order to take on and defeat the Ultra again. And for the next matchup here, we have the Los Angeles Thieves versus the Minnesota Rocker. This matchup, I'll be calling 3-2 to two in favor of the Los Angeles Thieves. I honestly think the Thieves just have more talent for when it comes down to being on land here. I think this series will be close, but the Thieves will just barely be able to edge it out. And for the next matchup here, we have Optic Chicago versus Atlanta Phase. This matchup, I'll be calling 3-1 to one in favor of Atlanta Phase. Phase has the best roster, in my opinion. I think they are the most talented team that they will definitely land themselves in another major final via the winner's bracket here. Optic has looked really good as of late, but I do not think FaZe will allow themselves to lose twice to the same team during the same stage like that. And for the next matchup here, we have the Dallas Empire versus the Los Angeles Thieves. This matchup I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of the Dallas Empire. Dallas has been playing really well recently. Their recent performance has been lights out, and I think they are really hungry. I believe they are a super motivated team. The Thieves are good, but I do not think they will prevail here. Both of these teams have very talented rosters in my opinion, and I feel that Dallas will prevail in this one simply because they have more team chemistry. They have practiced together more, so I expect them to be a bit more well rehearsed. I expect this series to be close, but for the Empire to just barely be able to edge it out. And for the next matchup here, we have Optic Chicago versus the Dallas Empire. This matchup I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of Optic Chicago. Optic has looked rather scary as of late. So is Empire though, which is why I have this one going 5 maps. Optic however did face a tough loss last week that they are looking to bounce back and recover from. Because of this, I think they will be extra motivated coming into this major. Up until that point, they were undefeated this stage, so I feel that suffering from losing that match may have ignited or ignited a fire in them. I also think with fans or spectators in attendance, the green wall will be very strong at major five and last but not least for the major final here we have atlanta phase versus optic chicago this matchup i'll be calling five to two in favor of atlanta phase phase has won the last two majors prior to this one they also have suffered from a loss this stage already and it just so happens to be to optic as well i think that loss gave them the check they needed to stay motivated and driven it was just a little bit of kick they needed they've been a very dominant team quite frankly all season and they do not lose often i do not think there is any chance that phase will allow themselves to lose to optic twice in one stage as stated before and definitely not in the major finals of the same stage and there you go ladies and gentlemen your major five champion as predicted by me atlanta phase and now for my updated power rankings. In 12th, the Los Angeles Gorillas. In 11th, the Paris Legion. In 10th, the London Royal Ravens. In 9th, New York Subliners. In 8th, the Seattle Surge. In 7th, the Florida Mutineers. In 6th, the Minnesota Rocker. In 5th, the Los Angeles Thieves. In 4th, Toronto Ultra. In 3rd, Optic Chicago. In 2nd, Dallas Empire. And in 1st, Atlanta Phase. As always, let me know what your thoughts are down below and leave a like if you enjoyed. I can't wait to see how this last major plays out, and as always, I hope the Thieves perform well. I also plan to host a couple watch parties for this event on my Twitch this weekend, so make sure to stay connected and be on the lookout for those. Alright guys, but until next time, it's been CIA or Chris. Hashtag 100TCIA. Peace.